What's going on today, guys? Good guy Weaver here, and today I'm gonna show you guys something really interesting I found the other day. So the other day, Busy Works Beats said I should help people more, create content. So that's what I'm gonna try to do today. I'm gonna try to help you guys by telling you about a great plugin I found recently that's free. Okay, so there'll be two songs in this demonstration. I'll call them Song A and Song B. Song A is the first one that you hear, the upbeat guitar song, and Song B will be the the bass drop song. Okay, so this is Song A right now. So I'm only gonna play a short segment of this song and have to talk over the entirety of it essentially because these bastards want to claim it. So it just brought in the rhythm of song B right now. You're going to hear that. But still has the melodic components of song A. Now it just brought in the melodic components of song B. So it has the rhythm and melodic components of song B. And now it has the melodic components of song B, but the rhythm of song A. So I think you guys get the picture there, sorta. I mean, as well as you're probably gonna get it. So this is a free plugin, it's called Hard. Not really the greatest plugin name I've ever heard. You can only get it as an AU plugin at the moment though. If there's a source code as well here, cause since it's open source, so if anyone who wants to go in and make it a Windows version out of it, please do, because I would like to use it. I actually spent like a few hours earlier today trying to get this to work on my 2012 MacBook. Could not get it to work. I guess it's just too old or something. But I did do some analysis to the songs to try to figure out what was happening here. Okay, so song A is called Social Cues by Tizo Touchdown. And then song B is Carnal by Losco and Onel. I believe that's how you say his name. Either that or it's On Hell. It's probably Onel though. That makes more sense to me. I ran it through both. I ran it through both. I ran it through both. God damn it. Fuck you. <laughs> I ran it through both. DJs. I ran it. I ran it. Oh my God. <laughs> Oh, take a break here and drink my sodi. I ran it through both Serato as well as Melodyne to see what was happening here. And in both cases, the keys should not work out together. So from what it looks like here, it looks like song A is either in B major or C Marwa. scale. And then song B appears to be in F major, as you can see here, or F microtonal scale. If I had to guess, probably F major or a relative key, the root note being E. Not only did I compare the actual songs though, but I also compared the way they were presented in the actual video. And it seems to me the O'Neill song was pitched up two semitones, which seems to put in a related key to song A. So if you do plan to use this for DJing, you would still most likely want to do harmonic mixing, at least if we're going off what is happening in this example here. But it seems like you will have a lot more flexibility in the way that they harmonize and what types of genres you are mixing between. I would bet my life that with normal mixing techniques and tools, this song could not be transitioned to smoothly from the other one that was presented in this video. So for production, I could see this being useful in the sense of like taking a loop and then like applying it to something else. Just applying one thing to another thing, essentially. You wouldn't want to use it exactly in the circumstance being used here in production because you'd straight up just be lifting parts of another song into your song, which I guess could be seen as sampling. Uh, but if everyone is doing this all the time, I could see it getting out of hand. So I, I could see this being useful with like loops maybe or drums or something. Just like taking one component and it, superimposing it onto another thing. I think where this would shine the most is DJing though. Because you could make songs mixed together that wouldn't normally mix together. Now at the moment it is only an AU plugin so it's something you would use in your DAW. But if you're DJing your DAW this could be extremely powerful. Maybe in the future this could be something that is incorporated into software such as Serato or Tractor as well too. So I'll link to this plugin in the description if you guys want to check it out. And this is a part of the Neural Audio plugin competition. And believe it or not, this only got third place. So if you guys want me to check out the other two plugins, um, let me know. Wouldn't mind checking them out. There must be some pretty interesting stuff in here. Um, Dr. Mix entered his plugin in here. Think, thankfully that didn't win. I don't think, I really don't think that should win. It's kind of like a joke entry. Let me know what you're able to do with it. If you're a programmer, someone who's able to turn this into a Windows plugin, please do so. I would really like to check this out. That's it for this video. Let me know what you guys thought of it. Uh, for everyone who likes this video, I'll give you one human brain. Don't be scared. It's real and it'll show up in the mailbox. Does that freak you out? It should. If you made it to the end of the video, comment weed, 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 weed down below. Make sure to check out my second channel. Discord, Twitter. If you want to support the channel, consider joining my Patreon, becoming a channel member. I'll see you guys next time.
Brand Incorporated.